Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Bubs here, back with a brand new video. In my last video, I said drop a like if you guys want the updated version for the camo glitch where you guys can also save them as a custom blueprint because before you guys couldn't. But now there is a way to do it and it's different for everyone, which I will explain. That's why in the title it says update because it's the updated version with the saving part. Drop a like on this video, let's try to get 315 likes if you guys want me to post a video on how to get color names and also symbols as well. The first winner for the bundle for the 12 days of Christmas was this person. Now the second day of Christmas, what we're going to be giving away is the account with the either Interstellar or Borealis. So to enter, just drop a sub with post notifications, drop a like and drop a comment down below. The winner will be in my next video. If you guys are looking to get hard unlocks for the new Modern Warfare 3 Mastery Camels like Interstellar and Borealis uh, or play in bot lobbies where you guys can level up your guns and unlock camels very fast or even instant delivery on your guys' stuff, then check out Mitch Cactus. Their links are down below and they have over 10,000 reviews on Trustpilot and use code BUBS. So first, I'll show you guys the updated version to do the glitch after all the patches in Season 1 because there was a patch. And then I'll show you guys the saving method because that saving method wasn't there before. So I'm going to explain the saving method in exact detail. So please listen to that. In my opinion, the best usage of this glitch is for cross camos where you guys can put Modern Warfare 2 camos onto Modern Warfare 3 guns. For example, if you guys have the Master Camo Orion, you can already put it onto Modern Warfare 3 guns. And as we all know, Orion is pretty much like Interstellar. So if you guys already have Orion, in my opinion, there's no need to even get Interstellar. So all you guys have to do on this screen is bring up the Save Custom Mod screen. Press the home button, press it the second time, and then press escape on the keyboard to get out of that screen. Press it pretty much right away after you press the home button the second time, so like a split second after. So you guys will need a keyboard. From here, you guys can press the home button, press it again, and then press the corresponding button on either your controller or the keyboard to go over to the weapon, sorry, that has the camo you guys want to duplicate over. So pretty much cross over. Before, you guys will need the keyboard the entire time, but now with the updated version, you guys can also use your controller after the first step. Now I know everyone on Xbox and PC always want something uh, like this that we have for PSN. Now I do not have the Xbox or PC, so if I did, trust me, I would try my best to get you guys one as well. But if you're on Xbox and PC, I'll show you a glitch later on which you guys can use to pretty much get Borealis really fast. For example, on this screen, I'm pressing home button, pressing the second time, a split second after, I press X to go into camos. From here, you guys can save the gun, save as a mod or whatever, and go over to the camo. And now we pretty much duped over Orion, which is a Modern Warfare 2 camo, onto a Modern Warfare 3 gun. Now, like I said, I was going to tell you guys and explain to you guys the saving part. So as you guys can see right here, when I try to save it, it says camouflage has been reset and you guys lose the mod. Now, if you guys don't care about saving it, you guys can just keep the weapon with the camo in the class and don't save it. And that way you guys won't lose the camo either. But let me tell you guys and show you guys a few ways that you guys can actually save the weapon with the camo. Okay, so method one, as you guys saw, I put Orion on this weapon when I tried saving it, it didn't let it save for me. Uh, so method one is pretty much, you guys gotta find the camo on the account that will let you save it. So it's random for everyone. Like I said, I put Orion on this gun, I tried saving it, it didn't work, but check this out right here. This was one of my subscribers account that he let me use as well. And for some weird reason on this account, it let me save it. So check this one out. So as you guys can see, it actually does save, but on the same account, I'll do it with Polyatomic, and you guys will see, when we try to save it, it doesn't save at all. So like I said before, it's random for each account. For each account, you guys have to find the right camo that will actually save. So for you guys, it might be Orion, it might be Priceless, or it might not be Orion, uh, it might be Interstellar or something like that. So once again, the same account will do it with Interstellar this time and you guys will see that we save it and it fully saves. It doesn't say camo reset or anything right here. So it's saved. We're going to go over to our custom mods and you guys can see it does fully save right here as well. Now on the same account, I'll do it with Priceless, which is a Modern Warfare 3 camo as well and putting it onto a Modern Warfare 2 gun and you guys will see that it doesn't save. So for us, it worked for Orion Interstellar, right? The mastery camo is the top one, but it didn't work for Polyatomic or Priceless. So yeah, method one is completely random. You guys just got to go around, test with uh, a bunch of other camos, see which ones work for you. So for example, uh, Interstellar Orion might work for you. Personally, it didn't work for me, but it did work for this subscriber right here. So shout out to him. And then also, it might not work for Priceless. It might work for Priceless for you guys. So it's completely random. That's method one. So method two, this is what you guys can actually do. People over on my Discord were saying it works. Uh, it didn't work for me, but you guys can also try it out. 
So like I said before, this is one of my Discord members. All he did was, so he did the glitch. Uh, he put the camo on the weapon. And then before actually saving it as a mod, he went over to the other mod that he saved, deleted it, then went back into the uh, same class, so the same weapon, and then saved it. He said that worked for him, so you guys can even try that out. I'm not too sure if that fully works, but he was saying that it worked for him and it works for some people as well. So those are the two methods that you guys can use for saving. If you guys find anything else, please let me know down below. And also, if you guys know 100% of the time on how it works with the saving, then also let me know down below. And I'm always looking for the 100% save. But for now, these are the two ways that you guys can try and save the weapons with the camos. So by now, we all know that this only works for PS. And if you guys want us to find a way for Xbox and PC, then uh, hopefully soon we do get one. I don't have the Xbox or PC to try and, you know, get one working. So that's the only reason I haven't uploaded one. But hopefully soon one of the creators for Xbox or PC do find one. Or one of my friends as well. He's on Xbox over there. And we're always telling him to look for one or try to get one working as well. So for now, uh, I'm going to show you guys a glitch and then a method to easily unlock Borealis. Now, if you guys need just uh, normal zombie kills, then what you guys wanna do is start up the act one mission, go all the way to the end uh, where you guys get the uh, Dr. Jansen and she's on the plane. Get her into the plane and then a shit ton of zombies will start spawning. This way you guys can farm all these zombies and this is by far the fastest spawn rate for zombies. So if you guys need those challenges done for Borealis and they involve only normal zombies then this is by far the best way to get it done. Now if you guys need special zombies, what you guys want to do, there's actually a glitch going around. All you literally have to do, this still works, I uploaded this in my last update video, which was before season 1. You guys can go into a Outlast contract in tier 2, get it all the way up to 95%, come out until it's back down to 55. Once it's at 55, you guys want to make it go to 54, then a special zombie will uh, spawn in like a Disciple or a Mangler. And then you guys want to take it above 55, so 56, anything above 55, and then bring it back down to 54, and each time you guys do that, a special zombie will spawn in so you guys can farm special zombies that way as well so i showed you guys the updated version to the camel glitch and i also included the saving part which is for psn and then i also like to include stuff for other consoles and pc as well so hopefully the uh, second part with the uh, easy borealis camo unlock you guys can use that that one was a glitch with the unlimited special zombies and then also the uh, farm that is by far the best way to farm zombies and you know also the special zombies which you guys will unlock borealis really fast with that now drop a like on this video if this helped you guys in any way do not forget forget to enter the second day for the 12 days of Christmas giveaway slash videos. Uh, we're going to be giving away Orion or Borealis in this one. The first giveaway winner was earlier in this video and to enter all you have to do is drop a like and drop a comment down below. Now do not forget to titty smack the subscribe button. We're on the road to 150,000 subscribers and that would up a ton. Share this video with all your friends and family. Join the discord down below if you guys ever need help with anything and follow me on IG and Twitter. All those links will be down below. This has been your Boy Bubs, and I'm out. Peace. I'm going, but I know I can't keep flowing. Cause the Lord he gave me words. The paper I can earn.